God, you are more than enough. Have your way, We give you glory, Father. We give you praise, O Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, you mighty God. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Praise your mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, your mighty Lord. You're a mighty Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God wants us to get his word Thank you, big yes, in Lord. us. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise he wants Lord. us to meditate on the word. Amen. We need, we need to be feeding on the word of God. Thank Jesus you. told the devil, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. The words of God are our life. Yes. They are a true life. Yes. And the, the, the food of this world is not your true life. The true life is your spiritual life with God. Amen. For one day, we're all eternal beings. And one day, we're going to spend eternity either with God or with yes. Satan. Right. I choose <laughs> to spend my eternity yes. with God. Thank you, Lord. He's got a better place to live than Satan. <laughs> a lot better. Hallelujah. Amen. And God wants you to serve him with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength. God wants you to surrender totally, completely to him. Amen. He wants his word big in us. So that when the devil comes and brings sickness, when the devil comes and brings sickness, what do we say? I'm healed by the stripes. I am healed Christ. by Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Sickness has no place in me. Jesus took my infirmities and bare my sickness. Yes. And with, with his, his stripes, stripes I, I am healed. Healed. Glory to God. Glory. When the devil comes and tries to bring sin back to you, what do you say? I am dead to sin. Dead Jesus to sin. bare my sin in his own body on the tree yes. so I can be dead to sin. So devil, I am dead to that. Amen. In the name of Glory. Jesus. I'm dead to that. You can hold fast to the profession of your faith without Amen. wavering for he is faithful to promise. Yes. God cannot lie. Oh. God said it, and that's it. Amen. It doesn't matter whether I believe it or not. What God says, that's the truth. Amen. Right. When we know the truth, Thank you, Lord. which is God's word, then the truth has the ability to make us, us free. Set us free. Amen. Thank you, Lord. But once Thank we you. know the truth, then we need to be saying the truth. Amen. We need to get the truth big in our hearts. Yes. Jesus said, out of the abundance of your heart, your Amen. mouth speaketh. Speak. Yes. So you can know by what people says what they've been feeding on. That's why the word says, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Glory to God. Glory. We need to get the word of God big in us. So it can be big coming out of our mouth. Amen. Amen. And Thank then they'll put the devil on the run. Absolutely. The thing is, the devil, he'll try, he'll try to get you where you're weak. Mm -hmm. James says, whenever the devil does that, he said, count it all joy. That's right. Is that what you do when temptation comes, <laughs> when trouble comes, when persecution <laughs> comes? You start praising God. The apostle Paul said, I would rather glory in my infirmities that the power dunamis of God might rest upon me. Yes. Right? Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. He is greater. Jesus said, you, in this Lord. world, you will have tribulation. How many knows that's true? Mm -hmm. Trouble comes. 
comes. Yes, it does. Comes to everybody. Amen. In this world, you will have tribulation. Mm -hmm. In this world, you will have tribulation. But, <laughs> but. be of good cheer. Amen. In other words, start giving God praise and glory when trouble comes. Amen. Yes, thank you, Lord. Don't be weak. <coughs> Woe give God praise and glory. Why? He said, because, because I, greater is he that's, because, he said, because I have overcome the world. Yeah. Jesus has overcome the world. And yes. he is in us. Yes. Christ is in us. In us. Amen. He's there to help us. Yes. He's there to secure us. That means help and strengthen us. Amen. To do what he'd have us to do. Jesus is to say, Jesus, Jesus is in me. In me. To help me. To help me. To strengthen me. To, strengthen me. to be. To be. Who he'd have me to be. I can say, I can say what God says. What God says. I can do I can what do. God says. God I can be I can who be. God says. God says. Praise you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. That's my introduction. I spent four days in I spent four days in Colorado this week. Actually, I drove one day and I spent two days there. And I drove the next day back. Two but days coming back. back, I drove 850 miles coming back. But because I got I got it was only supposed to be 770, but I got off track a little bit and I ended up driving <laughs> 850. <laughs> I told Kathy, I said, if I was still driving a semi-truck, I'd get paid a lot of money for those miles. <laughs> yeah. Because I got paid by the mile. And so, anyhow, we had a great time. Praise God. Thank you. I had, I had Tuesday, I mean, Wednesday, we had, I spent all day Wednesday doing, doing some work for his, Don's Burton's ministry. I'm the vice president of his ministry. And, and uh, we did some work that he needed to be done. And uh, so then the next day, Thursday, that, that was our day off. So, so Thursday, we went, we went and we saw some old gold mines. This is a place called Bonanza. And I was showing him, because I've learned all about that stuff. Uh, there's different veins of in, there's different veins of quartz in the rock, and, and the quartz contains the gold and stuff. We looked for some gold, but we didn't find any. <laughs> but then when we when we left, when we left the gold mine, we, we went by this guy's house, and Don told me, he said, I, this pastor friend of mine told me if there's anybody there that I should stop and talk to this guy because he's a Christian. And so, so we stopped and we, the guy was outside, so we stopped to talk to the guy. We went and talked to him and the guy, he said, he, he, said he, he needed, he had shingles real bad for six months. He said it was so bad, he said he couldn't do hardly anything, he was real weak. And we wanted to pray for him, but he said, no, people's pray, I've had so many people pray for me, it just doesn't work. Aww. And his kids, he just wouldn't let us pray. And so the day before that, the day I got to Don's, Don had a problem with his arm. He, he was hurting real bad. He didn't know what the problem was. And so he said, Mike, will you lay hands on my arm? And so I laid hands on his arm and God instantly healed him. And so, and so then he told that man, he said, he said, see how I can bend my arm? He said, yesterday I couldn't do that. He said, my brother here, he laid his hands on my arm and God instantly healed me. And so by the time we got done, the guy said, yes, you guys can pray for me. Amen. So we prayed for his body. Thank and I believe that God touched him that day. Amen. Praise Thank you, God. Lord. And then Thursday night, we had a we had a, his friend, uh, his friend Stephen was was up with there, and we were doing praise and worship around a campfire that we he bought Don made behind his house. And so we were praising and worship God and stuff. And then Stephen got a word of knowledge from the Lord, a word of wisdom from the Lord. Yes. And he said, I hear the Lord say. I hear the Lord say, don't worry about the future. Just take things a step at a time. Amen. Just look for your next step. Yes, the next step. Just look for your next step. And I said, well, that's what the Bible says. Yes. That God leads us by steps. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We need to not worry about the future. And the Apostle Paul said we should not worry about the past. Even Jesus said that. Amen. Jesus said a man that puts his hands to the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. Amen. God wants us to forget all those old things. That's right. And start focusing today. Amen. Today on what God would have us to do. Today. It doesn't matter what the future holds. We know what the future holds. The Bible tells us. Yes. But we need to be sure we're living right for God today that we're doing what God would have us to be yes. doing today. Today. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, 
Hallelujah. So Thank you, Lord. Years ago, I used to drive a semi truck. Hallelujah. I drove a total of 10 years total over my life. And, but, but anyhow, uh, one, one time when I was driving, it, I was driving for Simmons mattresses, and I was, it was after, after, a, uh, after guys shut down, and, and I got a, a job over at Simmons mattresses and doing kind of the same thing, is it? except for mattresses are heavier than potato chips. <laughs> yeah, a lot of mattresses. But anyhow, I, I, I was tired of the job, and I was doing ministry stuff too. I, kept, I was calling out to the Lord, and I said, Lord, I want to quit this job, and I want to do ministry full time. Because the Word says God has ordained that those who preach the gospel should live of the gospel, should make their living from the gospel. So I said, Lord, I want to do that. I want to quit this truck driving job and just do ministry full time. And the Lord said this to me. He said, have you done the last step I told you to do? I said, I said what is that, Lord? So I told you to write a book on grace. You see, God gave me a revelation of His grace. So He said, He said, have you done that? And I had not even started. And I said, well, no, Lord, I haven't. He said, you finish that book on grace and get it printed. He said, then you can quit your job. Amen. Now, the thing is, I've never made a dime off the book. Because right. I give them away free. Amen. But I, I needed to be obedient to yes, God. Yes, yes. So I needed to take that step before I could take the next step. Amen. A year later, I had the book written and printed, and then I was able to quit my job. Hallelujah. Amen. Not because I was making a lot of money. <laughs> Not because I'd saved a lot of money. Just because I had been obedient to God. Yes. And then I was able to quit that job and do ministry full time. Amen. E even though I wasn't making any money, I was doing ministry full time. Amen. God did it. Hallelujah. Then Hallelujah. Kathy worked a job. Thank you, Lord. God blessed her in her job that yes. she worked. Yes. <coughs> and finally, we, we both quit. I mean, we both do more. Don't work. Now, I, I haven't worked an outside job for 14 years now. That was a long time. Amen. That was when I, that was when I got to where I, could, where I could do what God told me to do. Yes. Or I'll be obedient to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory. We need to be obedient to God. Yes. You know, and James says, submit yourselves therefore to God. Mm -hmm. Resist the devil, and he will. Now, we don't, we just say, resist the devil. Really, we've got to first submit ourselves to God. First, now, submission means obedience. Yes. We've got to get obedient to God. Amen. And then resist the devil. Yes. So James says, the effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. John said, the. He that do, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, righteous, even as he is righteous. righteous. Yes. But he that sinneth is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from, from the beginning. And for this purpose was the Son of Man manifest, you, that he Lord. might destroy the Lord. works of the devil. Jesus Amen. came to destroy the power of sin in our lives. Amen. He came to give us strength to yes. walk and live a holy life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. For without holiness, no man will see the Lord. Glory to God. Jesus is coming back for a glorious church without a spot of wrinkle. Oh. We need to be walking with God. Amen. Thank we you. We need Lord. to be following God yes, every, in every step. Amen. Every way and every way. Glory. Sometimes that's Amen. not easy. But Jesus is in us to help us yes. to make that easy. Yes. God shed the spirit of his son, Jesus Christ, into our hearts when we made Jesus Lord of our life. Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice yes. and open the door, I will come into him and sup with him and him with me. Amen. Amen. And in him is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So when yes. he comes into us, then we're reconciled to Father God. Oh. And then the Holy Spirit also is with him because, yeah. because he is the yeah. fullness of the Godhead body. So when he comes into us, then we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost residing in us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Lord. No, you not. No, you not. You, you are, are the temple. temple. No, you not. No, you not. You are the temple. No, you not. No, you not. You are the temple. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Hallelujah. It was happening. Praise you, Father. Praise. Thank, Lord. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. God is good, isn't it? Yes, Amen. Amen. All the time. For me to Psalms chapter 37. Thank We're going to read verses 21 through 25. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Psalms chapter 37, verses 21 through 25.
The wicked borroweth and payeth not again. But the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. The righteous giveth. We should be givers. Yes, amen. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth. And they that cursed him shall be cut off. The steps, say steps. Steps. The steps of a good man. A good man, that word man means human being, means person. Yes. Are ordered by the Lord. In other words, God gives you a step at a time. Yes, he does. You figure out, if he, sometimes if God told you the end, the end, you'd never get there. <laughs> you think, I can never do that. I can never get there. He take, gives you a step at a time. Amen. Well, surely I can take this step. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Surely I can live holy today. That's right. Surely I can go without sin today. Amen. All you have to do is every day get up and believe that with all your heart. Thank you, Lord. Believe that God is bigger than your circumstances. Believe that God is bigger than the devil. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Greater is he. Greater is he. Greater is he. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord, and he delighteth in his ways. Praise. Though he fall. He shall not utterly be cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young and I have been old. And I can say that too. <laughs> now some of you older people think that I'm young. Uh, and some of you younger people think that I'm old. <laughs> and so I'm old to some and young to some. I have been young and I have been old. I can tell you, young is better <laughs> than old. But old is better too. Yeah, you got more wisdom. It's all better. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Blessing. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. I have been young and I have been old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God leads us by steps. Yes, he does. A step at a time. Just take that next step. Amen. Certainly I can obey God just that one more step. Thank you, right. Lord. Just take a step at a time. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Turn with me to Acts chapter 8. Thank you, Lord. Verses 26 through 39. Praise you, Father. Acts chapter 8. Verse 36. Oh, 36. Verse 26. Oh, 26. Did I say 36? Yeah, 26. 36. 26. <laughs> this is Philip. Glory. Philip was an evangelist. At one point, the apostles were doing all the work and the church was big. So God told them to appoint some people to take care of some of those minor things so they could give themselves to prayer and the word of God. And so what they, he said, make sure to pick people that are full of the Holy Ghost. And so two of the people were Philip and uh, Stephen. Stephen. Amen. Of course, Stephen was the first Christian martyr. And Philip, he was doing mighty works of God. He's out evangelizing. Eventually, he became an evangelist. You know why? Because they were full of the Holy Ghost and power. That's why. Yes, glory. God uses people Thank that are full you, of the Holy Ghost and power. Thank you, Let God use you. Get full of the Holy Ghost and power. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward. Now, he'd been preaching all over, and he'd been having signs and wonders. Many people coming to Christ. And then the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. Step one. That's right. Step one. God said, Go do this. And so Philip did that. He went right where the angel of the Lord told him to go. Went to the end of Gaza that led to the desert. That's right. And so he went there. Step one. Amen. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge over all her treasure, had come to worship for to, for, to worship in Jerusalem. That's right. Was returning and sitting in his chariot, reading Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said to Philip, I mean, he got to the desert like, like God told him to. And then the Spirit said, first the angel said to him, now the Spirit said to him, 
And then the Spirit said to Philip, Go near and join thyself into this chariot. Step two. Here this guy had come all the way from Ethiopia to Jerusalem. Now why do you think he traveled so far to Jerusalem? Well, because that's where the presence of God showed up. Because in the temple, the, whole, the, the presence of God would come into the Holy of Holies before Jesus, before Jesus' crucifixion. Yes. That's where the presence of God would come. Amen. Since Jesus' resurrection, then we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Ghost. Thank you, Lord. God split the veil of the temple in two from the top to the bottom, Thank right you. down the middle. Hallelujah. Now the, now the Holy Ghost doesn't come in buildings made with hands. That's right. If you feel the presence of the Holy Ghost, it's because people are full of the Holy Ghost yes, in this house. Hallelujah. It's because of the Holy Ghost in the people in this house. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God doesn't dwell in houses made with hands. He dwells in our bodies. Amen. Which are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And so Philip ran. Say ran. 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 The Spirit said to Philip, go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran. When God says to do something, run, do it. Do it. Do it quick. Right. Sometimes we wait a long time. I could have got, I could have been in the ministry a year earlier, or two years earlier if I would have obeyed God. That's right. In the ministry full time. But I didn't obey God best. Sometimes we miss out by not being quick to obey God. That's right. So he ran thither to him. Say thither. Thither. Say thither. <laughs> say thither. <laughs> I just like hearing people say that. <laughs> and heard him read from the prophet Isaiah. And said, do you understand what you're reading? Understandest thou what thou readest? He said, how can I except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. And the place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as sheep to the slaughter and like a lamb dumb before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation for his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch, and the eunuch answered Philip, and he said, I pray thee, to whom speaketh the prophet this, of himself or someone else, or some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began that the same scripture, the scripture in Isaiah, to preach unto him Jesus. Yes, thank you, Lord. The Bible says that all scripture is given by by inspiration of God, does God breathe? Yes. As possible for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. Yes, Lord. Paul said that to Timothy. How and at you? that time, the only scriptures, they, they didn't have the New Testament. No. They only had the Old Testament. Yes. So if they wanted to preach Jesus, they preached Jesus Hallelujah. from the Old Lord. Testament. Yes. Isaiah chapter 53, it talks a lot about Jesus. And what he will do, he tells about he'll hang on a cross between two evil men. Talks to you, he'll, he'll bear our sicknesses, our diseases. And says, by his stripes, we were healed. We are healed, it says, in Isaiah 53. And so he began to preach Jesus to this unit. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away, and who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet himself or some other man. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached him to him, unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, Here is water. Evidently, while he was preaching, faith came to him. You know how faith comes? Faith comes by hearing hearing by the word of God. So at some point, he accepted Jesus as his Lord. As they went on the way, they came unto certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they both went down into the water, both Philip and the eunuch. And he baptized him. 
And when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more. In other words, God just translated him out of there. Supernaturally. Now we have jet airplanes. Before that, before that we didn't have those. <laughs> now we have cars. Before that, we didn't have those. God could just translate somebody here or there. You know what? God has never changed. Right. God can still translate you if God wants to translate you. Yes. You need to be open to that. Amen. God is mighty. Nothing is too hard for God. That's right. God's never changed. Right. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's never, ever changed. Under the old covenant, he was a merciful and gracious God. Yes. He's a merciful, gracious God under the new covenant. He's yes. still today a merciful yeah. and gracious God. He will be a merciful and gracious God forever and yeah. ever and ever. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory Thank God. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise Glory you, Father. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see how God led Philip by step, a step at a time. We need to let God, we need to be content in the state we're in. And then we need to let God use us step at a time. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Not look at all the junk in the past. That, the devil will try to pull you back to look at the past. That's right. He'll try to do that. You need to submit to God. You need to say, those, those things are passed away. All things have become new. Amen. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm not that old man anymore. I'm not like that anymore. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Old things are passed away. All things have become new. Amen. We need to allow the spirit that's in us, the spirit of Christ that's in us, to more put to death, mortify our mortal bodies. Glory to God. Thank you. Our physical mortal bodies. To put to death the deeds of the flesh. Yes. The Bible says if we walk after the flesh, we will die. That's right. But if we through the Spirit do mortify or put to death the deeds of the Thank body, the then we'll live. Amen. I want to live and not die. God says Amen. before us life and death, good and evil. I want to do good. I want to obey God. I want to follow God. Amen. And go to heaven and not hell. That's right. Because there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. shun. Jesus, said, Jesus said, I go away to prepare a place for you. That where I am, there you may be also. Yes. He said, I, I've got to, I'm going to prepare you a mansion. He said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you so. And Jesus is coming soon. He's right at the door. Praise I believe Lord. he's standing there ready. Yeah. As soon as God says go, he's going. Amen. I believe the time is short. We need to be ready. Yes. We need to be walking with God. Yes. We need to be doing what God says. Yes. We need Lord. to be obeying God. And following his commandments, and doing what he says. You mean we still have to follow God's commandments? Absolutely. A man came to Jesus. He said, What do I need to do to have eternal life? Jesus said, Follow the commandments. Yes. And he starts saying, Which ones? Well, he started naming the righteous requirements of the law. Yes. We still have to follow the righteous requirements of the law. Amen. And we automatically do that by walking in love with God and our fellow man. Amen. Our faith won't even work without love. That's right. Because faith worketh by love. That's right. Amen. One time the Lord spoke to me and he says, He said, He said to me, Because faith worketh by love. Your faith will not work if you don't walk in love. That's right. So I need I, we need to walk in love so our faith will work. Yes. We need to forgive others when we're praying. Yes. Mark eleven twenty five. We quote Mark eleven twenty four. And because it says, what well, thanks whatever you desire when you pray, believe you receive them, you, you shall have, have them. Yes. We, we quote Mark 11, 23, which says, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. Amen. He shall have whatsoever he saith. That's right. But we leave off 25, which is the next verse. That's right. Which says, And as you stand praying. Yes. Thank you, Lord. As you stand praying the prayer of faith. I asked Don Burke, he, he said under he said under Kenneth Hagin, my friend Don Burke, he said in the early years where he just Kenneth Hagin was the main teacher. And Don said, Don said, he, he, he taught us in Bible college that a lot of times you don't receive your prayers because you're in unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. And I said, I wish you would have put that in the books. Because he left that scripture, next scripture out of the books. <laughs> the next scripture says, and as you stand praying, if you have <laughs> ought against any. Forgive them. Yes. 
so that your Father which is in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. That's right. Then when James says the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up, if he have committed sins, they shall be, you see, part of the prayer of faith is forgiving other people so God can forgive you. That's right. So when you the prayer of faith will deliver the sick and the Lord will raise him up. Yes. If they have committed sins, God will forgive them. Amen. Because Thank part you, of the prayer of faith Lord. is forgiving other people their sins yes. so God can forgive you your sins. Amen. We need to get hold of these things, folks. That's right. The word of God is truth. If we're, if, we're, if we're trying to stand in faith and we're not receiving, we, could not, we should not blame God. That's right. We should look at the mirror. We should look at ourselves. Yes. Say, where am I missing it? Amen. Where am I missing it? Where am I missing it? Amen. Because God's not missing it. God never had, he's never had failed. He, his word does not return unto him void without accomplishing what he sent it to do. He watches over his word to perform. Yes. His word is truth. Amen. She said, you should know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And who the Son has set free is free indeed. Come on. Amen. They said, we've never been in bondage to any man. He said, whoever sins is the slave of sin. And the Son has come to make you free indeed. Yes, he has. Thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus came to set us free. Thank you, Lord. He came to purify us. Yes. He came to, to prune us. Let God prune you. Let God prune the junk off your life. Amen. Let God prune the things off your life that causes you to, to not be who God would have you to be told. And become, become more and more and more into the image Thank of Jesus you, Lord. Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From glory to glory, from one degree of enlightenment to another, we have, we have beholding in a mirror Christ in us. God wants to, to, for Christ to be formed in you. Till eventually you become spiritually mature in Christ. Thank you, Lord. The Bible calls that perfect. Yes, amen. Be spiritually you. mature in Christ. Glory, Praise glory, glory, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's my message. Hallelujah. You, Thank it. you for your word, Lord. Glory to God. That is good. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Lord, 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 Lord. 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 Lord.